Spider crabs can commonly be found in uh, relatively shallow water to 160 feet and shallower. Uh, and their normal distribution where they live is from Nova Scotia all the way down to Florida. Spider crabs are actually true crabs, uh, like any other uh, normal crab. Uh, they're not related to spiders, uh, like horseshoe crabs are. Usually males uh, tend to get larger than the female spider crabs, uh, with a carapace of about four inches, uh, maximum size, and with the legs, uh, their overall size being to a foot. That would be the males. The females uh, tend to be a little bit smaller, uh, once they reach maturity, they also stop growing, the females do, so uh, those tend to be maybe up to nine inches for the females. Spider crabs are uh, found in a group uh, called uh, decorator crabs. So decorator crabs, what they do to hide from predators and to blend into the, uh, the bottom of the ocean is they actually take stuff uh, like pieces of detritus, which is like seaweed, um, you know, kind of either that or shells, uh, different um, invertebrates. So it could be even like anemones or uh, periwinkles, you know, anything like that. And that, they actually glue them, you know, stick them to their backs and uh, they use that as their camouflage to blend in. One interesting thing about the legs of the spider crab is uh, on the ends of the walking legs, they actually have uh, sensors where they can actually uh, taste and they can smell if there's um, anything for them to eat um, in the sand and stuff that they're walking around. So as they're moving around, they're constantly smelling and seeing if there's anything like worms or um, they actually also eat small sea stars, uh, things like that in the sand. So as they're walking, they're actually um, always kind of smelling and looking for food. The arms of the spider crab are actually very long also because that enables them to be able to pick up pieces of uh, seaweed and things like like that that they're going to stick to their back. So having very long arms they're actually able to uh, take their whole arm and they can reach pretty much any part of their body. The spider crab that we have on display um, in our uh, offshore tank, he does only have one arm and when he does molt he will get that arm back, it will start to regrow. And um, that is very similar to other crustaceans um, also that uh, once they do molt they can regrow arms and legs and stuff like that. Once the spider crab molts, it usually takes, it depends on a lot of different factors, but usually it's a few months. There's not really any reason to be afraid of uh, spider crabs. They're uh, relatively uh, lethargic uh, crabs, so they don't really move very quickly. Um, and that's one of the reasons why they have um, the sensors. They're very sensitive on their legs, and that helps them uh, be able to find prey and stuff in the sand.